Here we are, we're going to do Wood Bison Trail. And we're going to go in the reverse loop just because there is a bit of must, uh, must, mist coming up off of the water bodies. So hopefully we'll get some nice views of that as we go. It might be kind of getting a little bit late for that already. But yeah, I guess get started. And I think I've covered this before, but here we are again. Those of you who have been watching for a while may remember our walk on this trail from the winter. My knee had given up on this 15 kilometer hike in the snow, and my ego was still feeling a bit bruised from how long it took to do the trail. This made me more determined to go back during the non-winter months just to see how brutal this trail really is. minutes ago there was a bison just over there by the entranceway. I don't see him now. Hoping to see the mist and maybe a wood bison from a safe distance, we hurried through the first section of forest. The sun was already shining through the trees, but it wasn't really making a dent in the cold air. There's a lot of disturbed grass here. Autumn was starting to set in on this September day. Way up there, you can see one of the wood bison. Highway right on the other side. I don't know what happened over there. A little bit of mist left, not a lot. If you watch carefully, you can see him trot off. We continued on, enjoying the fall colors, especially around this marsh.
Overhead, I spotted a fast-flying flock of geese. I think that they might have been cackling geese. This cow parsnip was quite smaller than normal. It's the puddle poop. Sorry for that. Don't worry. I get my just desserts later. Here are some pretty yellow avens for now. We continued on, admiring the morning light through the trees. The Yellowhead Highway, which cuts the park in half, could still be heard in the distance. just heard an elk bugling somewhere in the distance. Even though we've been here over the course of many years, we've never seen the elk. And I've certainly never heard them. <laughs> we moved forward to an open field in the hopes of seeing the highly elusive elk that give the park its name. All I could hear for the next few minutes was the vehicles in the distance and Blue Jays calling. I don't know if you heard the tail end of that, but it is somewhere off in that direction right there. started to move and I heard another call. I kid you not. That makes me wonder if he can see me. Every time I turn my back, he, uh, he calls. And he is somewhere nearby. We stopped to admire this old tree trunk. Yeah, it almost looks like that sandblasted wood that you see. While listening for elk, I had spotted a coyote racing across the field. As we reached the opposite side, we spotted him standing in the clearing. He's getting nervous now. Like a young one. He also spotted us, and after deciding that we were too far to be a threat, he resumed his hunt for food. It was easy to lose sight of him in the Straight tall plant. I think he's catching some juicy grasshoppers.
And here's a final look at how far away we were. Do you still see him? Lyndon was still frustrated at how he hadn't seen the bull moose earlier. I turned to respond, saying something like how I couldn't just magically conjure up the moose. And then I looked off to my left and spotted this cow moose looking back at us. Is that a moose? Yeah, there's a hump on the shoulders. She eventually turned and moved deeper into the forest. We continued on through a sandy section and up a hill. Squirrels never fail to amuse me with their hyper reactions. Looks like a nice spot to go and relax under the tree. This trail, despite its name, always seems to have lots of moose encounters. It's almost as though it would be better called the Wood Moose Trail. We came across a tree that was almost barring the trail. We finally reached the southernmost areas of the trail. A couple of marshes and Flying Shot Lake are visible from sections of the trail. Lyndon was saying something inappropriate, so in typical Donna style... Potty mouth, Lyndon. Potty mouth. As potty as the... as it is... as this. I took a moment to relax on the boardwalk while Lyndon cleaned his lens. The spider webs broken by our passage through the forest had a habit of clinging across the lens. Recognize this plant? It's a giant burr reed, not off by someone. The scenery reminded us of Bev Doolittle paintings, and we continued to discuss yeah, like similarities to Asian art. Oh? I kind of realize, yeah, definitely perfect description of his work, but so uh, time. Uh, no! Disaster! <laughs> Gross! Uh, and my shoelace is untied now. <laughs> Look out. <laughs> Any of the trails. I know. Well, I got some mileage now. <laughs> Greased my entire sole of my boot. After recovering from the slip, we retreated to some more views of the lake. And a squirrel with a muscular butt. It gives a good idea of the strength that these little guys have, being able to go down the tree head first. We saw more evidence of bison in the area footprints, and wallows. 
This one was pretty fresh looking. We then came across this young moose, who was pretty oblivious to us. I will admit, the sneeze startled me. The moose continued to eat noisily. We were pretty distracted, too. We failed to notice the cow and calf in the nearby clearing until they had noticed us. I think we were also lucky that there were trees between us and them. Fortunately, the mother, calf, and young moose all ran into the forest. The mother was still pretty agitated, as you can see by the head toss, so we headed on our way as well. I kept talking so that the moose could tell where we were and that we were leaving the area. We also spotted a fair-sized garter snake soaking up the sun. I'd also like to give a shout out to Dinesh Gohill for his amazing videos of snake rescues, as well as his cinematic nature videos. If you haven't checked him out, please do so. This snake refused to move, so much that we started to wonder if it was fake. I stomped gently on the ground until the vibrations got him to move to safety. In fake. And with that, our hike came to an end. My knee fared much better this time. Wet and muddy sections. Muddy, but mud of a different sort. Always heed the warning signs at the trailhead. As always, thanks for watching.